is up? Keys be here, and we are back with Yu-Gi-Oh! Nightmare Trabador Season 2! When last we left off, we had just beaten Bandit Keith, who had made off with the prize of the Beginner's Cup. He didn't give it back to us after we beat him, but let's find out what Mokubo wants. Seto! Yugi called me! He said that the thief escaped! Huh! I knew he'd fail. But who has the gall to tarnish my tournament? I'm going to use all of Kaiba Corp's resources to find the crook, no matter where he's hiding. He'll regret ever taking me on! So Kaiba's maybe going to get us our prize? Hopefully. I'm coming in! To your home! Huh? I'm Seto Kaiba, president of Kaiba Corp. I'm a billionaire. I can do whatever I want, including entering your home. Are you Keesby, the winner of the Beginner's Cup? Yes, sir. Your prize was stolen. The thief escaped. I'm sure you're no happy camper. That's why I'll give you Kaiba Corp's newest innovation. Upgrade parts for your dual disc. Use them to find the punk with your own hands. These upgrades detect powerful duelists and points you in their direction. I'll also give you these parts to other duelists so that we can trap the thief in no time. I have no doubt that the criminal is a duelist, and only a high-level duelist could pull off such a crime. Not sure how I made that leap in logic. Find him and beat him in a duel. Maybe then you'll get your pride back. I... I won against Bandit Keith. I didn't lose my pride. I'm sure that was meant to say prize, but it's Kaiba. Who knows? He's a jerk. We don't like Kaiba. All right, so let's get the show on the road. Let's get into a game. I know we have a lot of Kaiba points to buy some packs, but I don't know. Let's just jump into a game. So I don't know if this is the point where everyone's deck gets an upgrade yet. Kaiba gave me upgrade parts. He has a heart after all. Let's duel. I have to raise my level by fighting tough competition. So, ooh, I think that's a new deck for her. Ours is still called Like, Comment, Subscribe. Which, by the way, you should absolutely do to this video and the channel. All right, so we're going first. Thank you, Taya. And, uh, oof, not a great hand, but I think we can make it work. Let's go ahead. We're going to set this graceful dice here. We're going to go ahead and uh, normal summon Mass Sorcerer. Probably shouldn't have set that, but whatever. It's our first day back. I forgot how to play. And let's just go to the end phase. All right, let's see what you got. Ooh, setting one face down. Okay. So that copycat in our hand is not doing much. Um, I say let's just go to battle and swing in and see what we're dealing with here. Shall we? Petite Moth. I know I just said that I thought Taya's deck got an upgrade. I'm starting to think I could have been wrong about that. No reason to set that Magician of Faith either. So let's get a main phase two. No evenly matched. All right, we're doing good. And we'll go ahead and set this negate attack and uh, let's see what happens. So we do have Graceful Dice, which could be fun, depending on what she summons. Ooh, Oskilio Hero. All right. I'm going for it, but I'm going to do it in the damage step. Oh, I hit the wrong button. Ha, ha, ha. Oops. Not good. It's okay. It's okay. It was a strategy. Luring her into a uh, false sense of security. Ooh. Let's go ahead and fire off this upstart goblin. You can have a thousand life points. I'll take a new card. Ooh. So this is a new card we've added to the deck. Wall of Illusions. And you know what? Let's set it. I don't think this saw play last season. We did add it right before the finals. So it uh, replaced Hane Hane for us. Another Oskilio hero. Ooh. Not attacking, all right. Um, let's go ahead and summon Copycat here. We'll uh, go ahead and, as the name implies, copy. And let's go to battle. Let's hold down the right button this time. And uh, we're going to go ahead and attack. Nope. Yes. We're going to go ahead and, in the damage step, fire off Graceful Dice. Uh, we cannot possibly lose this dice roll. Three. Perfect. Beautiful. Love to see it. And, uh, we have a little something-something for that second copy of Oskilio Hero in the form of... Let's go to main phase two. I said main phase two. And let's go ahead and set this kunai with chain. And, uh, we'll go ahead and pass. 
All right, Tay, let's see what you got. Setting one face down. Ooh, all right. We'd be in such a better position now if we drew monsters. I swear this deck plays monsters. Uh, let's go ahead and set this Magician of Faith. Um, I actually think we're going to go ahead and... Let's just go ahead and clear that Oskilio hero. And in the damage step, we will go ahead and activate the Kunai with Chain. Not the most optimal use of Kunai with Chain, but whatever, it's fine. We do have reinforcement set as well, so this copycat's pretty safe. And let's go ahead and end our turn. Uh, I do want to point out that that Kaiba voice absolutely wrecked my throat doing that for as long as I did. Hopefully by the time we talk to Kaiba more... Ooh, not the card I wanted to see. Let's go ahead and flip Summon Magician of Faith. Though. We got too many lights on the field for uh, Witch's Apprentice. Um, I'm going to grab up Star Goblin. Let's see what we can draw into. All right, let's put Teo way over starting life points. You're kidding, right? Where are all my... No, seriously, where are all my good cards? This is this doesn't feel like the deck I won the uh, Beginner's Cup with anymore. Skalingle, she's going to draw a card. No reason to reinforcements here. We'll just take out the Skalingle. And I don't think attacking with Magician of Faith is a particularly good idea, so we're not going to do it. We'll just end our turn here. Like, we have Lejeune in here. Ooh, Penguin Knight. Um, 900. Let's, just... Let's go ahead and negate the attack. Why not? I'm feeling silly. All right, let's... Okay, Graceful Charity. Here we go. Now we're in business. Now we're making moves. Oh, there are our cards. So let's discard this. Let's discard this. And uh, let's bring on out the Judge Man. Okay. I'm confident that 1500 clears that face down. Are you? I hope so, because we're going for it. Let's see what we got. Moki Moki. I do love Moki Moki. Um, no reason to fire for reinforcements here. I think I talked about this last season, but if you haven't watched it, go watch the... Um, oh, I forget the name of the episode. It's an episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! GX with uh, a... The whole thing is like a Big Lebowski reference, and uh, the duelist Jaden is going against plays a Moki Moki deck, and it's absolutely amazing. Hey, we finally tied up the duel that we've been in control of this entire time, because we gave Taya 2,000 extra life points. All right. Here we go. Now we're in business. Let's go ahead and bust out the Gumo. And let's go to Battle Phase. Um, I have to read what Hall of Life Barrier does. Discard one card. Oh, okay. So she's not taking any damage this turn, but that's fine. It's not like Wabago. We can still clear the monster. Oh, wait. No, it is exactly like Wabako. Wait a minute. Any damage you take from your opponent becomes zero. All right. Well, here's a little uh, Yu-Gi-Oh history for y'all. Look up the original wording of Wabako and try to figure out what that card is supposed to do. It's a fun game you can play. <gasps> crush card virus. All right. Um, literally no reason to use Crush Card Virus in this game. I don't think Taya has enough monsters over 15, but we're going to do it anyway because it's cool. But yeah, no, I challenge anyone to explain what Wabako is supposed to do based on the original wording of the card. Alright, let's clear that Petite Moth right out of the way, and uh, let's go ahead and hit with the Judge Man. I like attacking directly with Jiragumo. Skull Servant out of here. So, Sound off in the comments. Who played Yu-Gi-Oh! before problem-solving card text? Totally different game, right? There's a whole mini-game of arguing, does this target or not? We're going to call heads. Let's see what we get. I actually kind of want tails. Yeah. Oh, that's heads. So the reason I kind of want tails with Jirai Gumo constantly is I don't think we can possibly lose this game. But I would love to get the low life point bonus. And uh, get some more Kaiba points to buy some more packs. 
Yeah, part of the reason I do want a crush card is I really want to see what's in Taya's hand right now. Uh, yeah, we're going to crush card here. Uh, if you remember from last season, crush card has a different name and card text for some reason. It references a card that is not in the game. Okay, Skull Angle. Destroy all rock types on the field. A light. Huh. If only we had Deck Devastation Virus. Ooh, I want to summon Flame Cerebrus. So, uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about TCG here. I mentioned in my Memento deck profile, which uh, you should check out because it's a great video. I'm really proud of it. It came out really well. Uh, if you've got a spare hour, it's about 50 minutes long. <laughs> but uh, I mentioned that one of the cards in that deck, uh, Memento Horn Dragon, which is a... Or no, Memento Twin Dragon, sorry. Which is a retrain of our my favorite card in our extra deck here. Twin-Headed Thunder Dragon. Love that that got a retrain. It references a level 6 or lower Memento that you can special summon with its effect. However, there is no level 6 Memento in existence. Come to think of it... Oh wait, no. Yeah, Tatsu no Atoshi goes a 5. I was about to say there's no 5. There is a 5. That's dumb. But yeah, there's no 6, and specifically mentioning a 6, so it kind of opens up... I know it's probably just future-proofing, but it does open up the possibility that we'll get one. I would love that 6 to be Flame Cerebrus. Uh, I just... I don't know. I love this card. It's a, a Forbidden Memories favorite. It, it doesn't overlap typing with anything, and I made a mistake in the deck profile. I said that there were no overlap... Oh, it would be Taya, by the way. Uh, I mentioned in the deck profile there were no overlapping typings in the Memento archetype. Gaddick and Goblin are both fiends, so my bad. Alright. 87 Kaiba points. Not too bad. Yu-Gi-Oh! Nightmare Troubadour! Yu-Gi-Oh! Nightmare Troubadour! Oh, that was so close. I was on my rhythm. Let's duel again next time. Taya, that wasn't close at all. All right, let's see who we got over. Ooh, a three-star duelist. Do we go for it? Ooh, do we go for it? It's Yugi. Let's take him on. Hi, Kizmi. I've used the search function on the radar and found you. It's been a while since we dueled. How about it? Yeah, we're going to take on Yugi Moto. So, I think my short-term goal for this game is I really want to build a wind deck. Um, specifically, like, Harpy Wind. Alright, Yugi's going first. Uh, the reason being, I did a progression-style tournament with some friends a while ago. And, ooh, this hint is not bad at all. Ha, we can clear Zambira. Ooh, Light Force Sword, alright. Okay, one Gumo gone. That's not the worst thing. Oh, we got full combo. We have full combo. So we're going to summon Cyberstein. I'll finish my previous thought before. We're going to use turn player priority to summon out. We've been talking about him last duel. It's like fate that he's coming down. You know him. You love him. Say hello to Twin-Headed Thunder Dragon. Anyway, um, we did a progression style thing. And I built a... I got really good pulls for uh, Wind. Like, I got multiple Elegant Egotists and Harpy Lady Sisters and a full set of Harpy Ladies. And it just dominated. It was so cool. Anyway, so that's kind of my inspiration. Ah, oh, Karibo. Alright, that's fine. So the great thing about this is uh, we can Cyberstein out with Crush Card Virus if we have to. And that'll give us hand knowledge. That'll clear some monsters. Plus, we have Graceful Dice, too, if we don't necessarily have to do that. And we're going to probably get a Come From Behind bonus, too, thanks to ripping 5,000 of our own life points. So, let's go, Yugi. Let's see what you got. I'll draw. I believe in the heart of the cards. Swords revealing light. Come on. All right. Ooh, in one set. Okay. So, let's draw for turn. Okay, we'll get that second Jiraguma back shortly. Uh, let's throw Cyberstein in defense, and let's set Mass Sorcerer here. We got a little bit of waiting to do. Uh, this brings us to another issue that we are having in this game. We have no back row removal. We've got Armed Ninja. That's really it. All right. Let's see what we got. Ooh, Flame Cerebrus. Um, I'm actually going to keep this Cyberstein because it is a Crush Card target. We will summon the Gumo, though, and pass. 
All right, we got one more turn after this and no attacking. Mystical Elf, all right. What are we swinging into? Um, I'm really thinking about it, but nah. Let's just commit to uh, Crush Card Virus now. It's in attack mode, so maybe he'll decide to redirect the attack. All right, Curse of Dragon gone, nice. Burfamet, nah, Enchanted Arrow. Oh, he didn't choose to attack. All right, that's unfortunate. I was hoping he would. Well, we get to see his next three draws, so that's good news. Okay, rush recklessly. Um, so we'll get our Gumo back. Um, let's see if we can bait something with Mass Sorcerer. There's nothing he can do. Like, there's nothing he can draw that'll kill Mass Sorcerer because anything over 15 is immediately gone. Oh, wait. Almost forgot to normal summon for the turn. I think, honestly, next turn he could swing the game. If I'm not silly. Ooh, Horn of the Unicorn. Oh, okay. I think we just win here. Alright, let's go ahead. Sorry, Mass Sorcerer. I really wanted to draw a card with you, but... Flame Cerebro's coming down. This is actually, like, a Forbidden Memories board, funny enough. Ooh, we can get a chain bonus, too. Alright, so let's go to Battle Phase. Um, I want to attack first with Flame Cerebrus. And we are going to enter the damage step. We're going to fire off Graceful Dice number one. We're going to fire off Graceful Dice number two. And we're definitely getting a max attack bonus on this, too. And we will use Rush Recklessly on Twin-Headed Thunder Dragon. Uh, just, again, doing this now because I want the chain bonus. Alright. A three. Okay. Respectable. And a six. Ooh, beautiful. Love to see it. And, uh, yeah. Good game, Yugi. Um... Yeah, actually, he has enough life points. Okay, so we could end this game faster with, like, two attacks, but I want to try to lower my life points a little bit more. Let's see if we can get a low life point bonus. We are definitely getting a reversal bonus for sure. So that's cool. Ah, that attack hurt. Nice. Okay, good. We lost both di uh, coin flips. That's what we wanted. I think that's low enough to get a low life point bonus. And that uh, doesn't... Ooh, it does keep us lower than him the whole time. Nice. Oh, are you kidding? That's hilarious. Um, I am going to remove Trap it immediately, though. <laughs> oh, man. We got cocky there. I mean, we weren't winning that turn regardless, but I was talking a big game. And uh, our boy Yugi shut me down. Well, we know the hand. There's nothing in it. All right. Who do we win with? I want to win with a uh, twin headed thunder dragon, but let's see if we can get our life points just a little bit lower. Sorry, twin. You're my favorite, but we got to get those low life points. Ah, uh, we. It's weird to say we got the coin toss, but in this case, we missed the coin toss. All right. And that was a resounding win over uh, the King of Games himself. Let's see what we got. Duelist bonus, reversal finish, nice, and the low life point, and the chain, and the tribute summon. Oof, beautiful. Alright, so I think it's time to open a few packs. We got some time. Wow, you're getting stronger and stronger. I better keep practicing or I'll never win again. <clears throat> My favorite part of Yu-Gi-Oh! Dark Side of Dimensions, which is actually a good movie. Like, not a good Yu-Gi-Oh! movie, but I actually think it's like a good movie is the fact that they established that Yugi is the one who's actually really good. It's not just a temp. All right, so let's buy some Harpy Lady packs, shall we? Should also see if there's new ones too. So we want Elegant Egotist and we want Harpy Lady Sisters. Okay, good, there's Harpy Lady. Ah, or Didi, that's not bad. Um, before we keep going with that, ooh. We might have to buy a few of those too. Let's see what we got, uh, let's see what we got money for. 
Okay, second harpy lady. Love to see it. That's what we want. Mask of Darkness. That is a crush card target, which is important at this point. Cyber Shield. We could play that for fun. Okay, so we got all three harpy ladies that we need. And honestly, I might play the Cyber Shield just for lore. Okay, Castle of Dark Illusions, Robbie, Rogue Doll. Ooh, Meteor Dragon. That's cool. Too bad we're not playing uh, Forbidden Memories. We'd be a red eyes away from Meteor Black Dragon. Ooh, Mystical Elf's not bad. Okay, Harpy Lady Sister. So it's an ultra rare. That's unfortunate because that's going to be a pain to get more of, but... I think Cursed Darkness might have Mystical Space Typhoon, and we really should have been prioritizing getting that, but... I don't know. I want to I wanna have some fun. We're here to have fun. Well, we got three Harpy Ladies. We got one copy of Sisters. Um, I got to see... Ooh, Royal Decree is not bad. We can side deck that. Alright, let's see what else we got. Axe Raider, Snake Fang, Stop the Fence. Not terrible. Alright, that pack was pretty bad. Um, Princess of Surgy is not bad for, like, burn. If we want to build... I have, like, a... I have a really janky goat format burn deck that's not fun. Mooka Mooka. Alright, um, come on. Elegant Egotist in the last pack. Just give me one Elegant Egotist. It's got to be in here. Sparks, are you kidding? All right, that's funny. All right, let's get a uh, trap effects. Maybe I don't want that. Hmm. I don't know. Let's go with this one. All right. I think we actually do have an MST for some reason. I gotta check. Ooh, magical arm shield's pretty cool. Uh, this pack. I hate picking my own packs. Whenever... I don't buy sealed packs often, but when I do, I always ask the person at the counter to pick it for me. Seven tools of the bandits, not bad. I'll take it. Okay, overall, not a bad pack opening. So, we're back with the Yu-Gi-Oh! Nightmare Trapador, everyone. Hope you had fun, because, uh, season two is going to get pretty wild. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to drop it a like. And subscribe to the channel for even more, and I will catch you next time in Yu-Gi-Oh! Nightmare Trabador!